This project is to demonstrate how to use an ESP8266 complete with a TFT display and a SHT31D temperature humidity sensor to generate a humistat and a tempistat or temperature stat. Green LED is for humidity and red for temperature. So the SHT31 has uh, the levels already set and here I've shown it as a graph has a high set temperature a high set or high on a high off or clear as, as the Sensorian the manufacturer calls it and then at the lower end of the scale it has a low off or clear and a low on or set and the alert pin follows the status of the device this is a project idea for the ESP8266, which is a uh, digital temperature and humidity thermostat. Uh, uses the SHT31D sensor. That's the uh, breakout board from Closed Cube Limited, which is an excellent board. In fact, it's the only one I can find available where the alert pin of the device is brought out to an external pin. Um, so what I'm doing is I've set the device limits here for temperature and here for humidity and the upper limit is set to 25 degrees the lower limit 24 degrees and then it gives you the option of a, a lower temperature on and a lower temperature off similarly on humidity a higher humidity threshold lower humidity threshold and then a lower on and off humidity uh, switch uh, values. I'm graphing the current temperatures. There's the current temperature, there's the current humidity. You can see they correlate with the current uh, temperature and humidity. So if I now increase the, uh, and the two, the, there are two LEDs. The, Red denotes heating required, green denotes um, air conditioning required. So currently it requires heating, but if I warm up the device, um, immediately it's gone over 25 degrees Celsius, 28.5 and climbing. Therefore no heat is required and the red LED is switched off. The humidity has climbed to 66-65% over the on threshold, so the green LED has come on to denote that it requires cooling or drying of the atmosphere through an air conditioning unit. Now it, the chip is very very quick, so if I take my finger off the device, you can see the humidity fall away very very quickly. Green LED switched off because the off humidity value is 55% uh, and as soon as the humidity drops below 55% the demand for cooling or drying turns off. Temperature wise it's 28.5 and falling and uh, so we have to wait now for it to drop below the high off temperature, currently 24 Celsius. Note that I've made the displays, which is a general purpose graphing routine. Scroll to the left, so you can see the temperature and humidity perturbations. And eventually that uh, temperature, if that was the temperature of the room, it's heated the room up and as the room begins to cool, it will then demand heat. And when that happens, we'll see the status change. When alert comes up, it means the alert pin is high. That's the alert pin of the device, the SHT31. The device can be an SHT30, 31 or a 35. The lowest accuracy is 30 and the highest accuracy is 35. 31 is a nice compromise between three. There you see now the temperature has dropped below that threshold and the demand light has come on again. 
So the hysteresis value is one degree C. So if that was a heating thermostat, it would now be demanding heat until the temperature got back to 25 when it would switch off again. And the same thing on humidity. So there we have it. It's a, um, a thermo and humidity stat or thermostat on a humidity stat.